Hey guys, thanks for coming to this video. So today I just wanted to kind of chat about why I started a YouTube channel. Um, I kind of want to do a series like this where I just do my makeup and just kind of chat with you guys about random things in life. I don't know about beauty related things, non-beauty stuff. So let me know what you guys think. If you like this kind of thing or if you don't and you just want more tutorials and stuff, let me know. So yeah, I just kind of go, I kind of go all over the place. So hopefully this video is not too long and I just kind of share with you guys why I love makeup and why I started this channel. So if you guys are interested and want to see how I did this look, let's get into it. foundation on and a little bit of bronzer. I didn't want this video to be too long so I kind of did the base already. Start with some brows. So I'm just using the gimme brow to get a little bit of color and fullness before I go in with a pencil. Oop. So while that's drying let's do some lip liner. Do that before I actually start talking because I can't do lips when I'm talking. Now that that is on and I don't look so weird, this is the scone? I've never heard of that. Brow wand eyebrow pencil in the shade chocolate and it's like the teardrop shape kind of ones um it's a lot darker than what i was using before this but i've kind of decided i like that you know just things change i don't know so i'll start doing this and then i well i'm actually going to start talking now too because this is a more chatty i'm not even sure what i'm calling this yet but we'll see so why i started a youtube channel what I wanted to talk about. So I wrote some stuff down. This is really hard to like t talk more seriously while I'm doing my makeup. Let's see if I could even do this. There's so much noise outside. Like so many people driving by. There's like a like an elementary school right across the street. So a lot of background noise going on. So the first reason I started a YouTube channel is Obviously, I love makeup. I love doing my own makeup. I love doing others' makeup. I love learning new things about makeup. I love trying new makeup. I just have always loved doing makeup. Could you be any louder, FedEx? Come on. I remember when I first started wearing makeup, my mom had given me like a little play makeup kit and I, I just dug right into that color and I, I did bright blue eyeshadow like hot pink blush and it was like okay no you're not wearing this outside the house like this is just plain makeup so I kind of just played around like that and then I remember when I was like 13 ish 12 13 14 somewhere in there I started wearing like trying to wear actual makeup and like wear it out of the house I remember my first time getting foundation it was in a magazine and it was like covergirl like a little sample and I put it on it was way too light for my face but just the evening out of my skin I was like staring at myself in the mirror and I was like like I it it was just so weird to me that you could change the appearance of your face so I started you know buying makeup when I had money I started trying to wear it all the time I did not know how to wear it. I was not good at it. I looked crazy. I would buy the CoverGirl like compact of like the powder and it was like so thick and I would just smear it all over with like the sponge that comes in there or I would buy the CoverGirl liquid foundation and I would just use my fingers and just, just go in. I went in hard with it and it did not look good. And I remember I was always trying to hide my face from my mom in the morning when she would drive me to school. Like one morning I got in the car and I remember I had 
my school books and I like slouched because I was sitting in the passenger seat right next to my mom. I slouched down and I had my school books like this and my mom was like, what are you doing? And I was like, nothing. And she was like, let me see your face. And I showed her and she's like, you need to go wash that off. I mean, I don't, maybe I'll find some pictures. I don't know, but it was bad. It was really bad. I did not have YouTube, okay? Don't make fun of me. I didn't have what you have now to find anything you want to learn about any kind of makeup. It would have really helped me then. I just, I kept doing, experimenting with crazy colors and doing fun things with makeup, but of course it didn't look good because I didn't know how to really do it. I don't know, my brows were a mess. My eyeshadow was always crazy. I would do a winged liner, but I didn't do it well. So it was like this weird, like choppy, angled thing. I don't know. And then as I got older, I just kind of got into more just like neutral makeup and not anything special, just kind of, like I don't even remember what I did for makeup for like my early 20s. Like, I don't really remember. Like I know I was done with like all this crazy color and glitter and stuff, but I, like I think I just like had a couple brown eyeshadows and just kind of did that, but I didn't really, do anything fun. I didn't really like play around with anything. Taking way too long on my brows. So I'm gonna do some eyeshadow and I'm gonna use this Pixie and Wiley, Whaley. Oh, I'm not sure how to say that. It is what it is. I got this a while ago at TJ Maxx, I think. Yeah, TJ Maxx for 10 bucks. It's a little eyeshadow palette and liner duo thing. So let's test this out. I don't think I've had a pixie eyeshadow palette before, so it's just really cute. Nice neutral colors. What's new? I can't get away from a good neutral eye though. Back to my story. I think it was after I had my second baby that I started watching YouTube. Like somehow, I don't remember who told me about it or like where I saw it, but it was not like a big thing yet. It was like new and it was like, like very few people doing makeup tutorials on YouTube, so I somehow started watching Jaclyn Hill. I totally just fell in love with makeup again. I was like, brushes? You can use, you're supposed to use brushes for makeup. Like you can apply everything with different brushes. There's different brushes for everything. There's, there's all these different products that I've never tried. So it kind of was just like a new world for me. And I would just sit there and watch videos all the time because when you're a mom, like you're, you have your babies and if you're nursing, like you're, there's a lot of time when you're just sitting there doing nothing. So I would just sit and watch beauty YouTube videos and I would just learn so many things. I'm still watching YouTube all the time and learning new things all the time. I really started loving it again and feeling like I can do a pretty blue eyeshadow look or crazy glitter or whatever, but make it look good and wearable and not like just some girl with glitter thrown on her lid you know like it made me want to do makeup more and i was excited to do it and i was excited to actually invest in good products and good brushes whereas before i would only shop at the drugstore and occasionally i'd get like a nice foundation or something i would never really buy a lot of expensive makeup because i just didn't know what was good and i didn't want to waste my money so having fell back in love with makeup and then started doing makeup on other people like for dances or for weddings or whatever there's something about seeing somebody transform not just their outer appearance it does something to them on the inside when they feel beautiful on the outside and yes everyone is beautiful without makeup i'm not saying that you have to have makeup to be beautiful i feel like a lot of times just with everything now with instagram with this wanting to be perfect all the time we kind of just feel like we're we're never enough we feel like i don't look like this person my skin's not like that my eyebrows don't look that good my lips are too thin, I have acne scars, I have freckles everywhere, My I don't have eyelashes, my nose is too big, my nose is too skinny, my chin's too pointed, like everything. It's like nobody is good enough anymore. Nobody's good enough and we can't live up to that. I feel like so many of us just struggle with feeling, I need to keep doing my eyeshadow, feeling like we are enough and we are worth it and we're beautiful. So just when you get to see somebody, that transformation 
when they see themselves in the mirror and they just suddenly get this confidence that they didn't have before. And it's like, that's you. That's all you. Like we're, you're enhancing somebody's natural beauty in a way that they can physically see it. I cannot get enough of any kind of makeover shows. I just sit there and every time they like reveal if they're, you know, like doing a whole reveal thing, like they see themselves and like most of the time they get emotional. I don't know. There's just something so special about that. So if there's anything that I can do to like help anybody else feel that way in any way, if it's in the products that I recommend or if it's the techniques that I'm showing you or just like any kind of knowledge about makeup or makeup application that can help you guys feel more confident in yourself and your own beauty, like that's all I want. That's all I'm here for. It's like, yes, beauty is only skin deep, but I feel like once you find your inner beauty and you love yourself for you and you're not trying to be anyone else, there's something so amazing that happens on the inside and it just shows through it shows through every part of your life if i could do anything to help anybody with that then that's amazing to me and i'm just so grateful that i can do this and talk to you guys a lot of people had told me to start a youtube channel years before i did and i just wasn't ready i wasn't there yet i didn't have enough confidence in myself i still struggle with being confident in myself and i feel like a lot of times i'm like okay there are like thousands and thousands and thousands of girls doing this why me like why am i like why should i do this i don't like what do i have to offer that's different than anyone else it's hard i do struggle with that a lot especially in the new stages of a youtube channel because i feel like you know if you have millions of subscribers like obviously you're you're good like you are reaching a lot of people and obviously what you're doing is working and like me i'm so new even though i did start my channel a year ago i wasn't really posting that much just because of life <laughs> life happened and i had so much going on i still struggle with that and think like is this pointless like what am i doing am, am i gonna get anywhere with this it's hard to be motivated all the time so to those of you that are very supportive and you you know comment and i'm getting to know you guys through youtube it's so cool and I just want to say thank you guys. I feel like you guys are the ones that like push me to keep going. I don't even know what I'm like. I feel like I had a list going and I'm like totally going off the list, but that's fine. And I mean, really, if I can be confident in myself enough to do this and to show my naked face on camera and be okay with that like anybody can be confident in who they are it's so weird to think about because like several years ago would never leave the house without makeup i would be so insecure like i wouldn't want anyone to see basically me without makeup i was so like i i don't look good i look ugly nobody can see me like this so for me to be able to do this on camera it's just weird i don't know like it's i feel like i'm the most confident i've ever been in my life but I still struggle all the time with my self-confidence and my appearance. So that just shows you like how, how bad it was previously. I feel like if you're a teen now, like I don't even know how all of like the social media and everything, like how much harder that would be to deal with than what I dealt with when I was that age, because it's just, it's, it's just all these new levels of perfection just constantly it's like nobody can live up to that nobody is perfect it's just really sad to me that that's where we're going with things these shadows are blending really nice i like this color it's more pink but i do like those shadows it's very pretty so i'm gonna go in with this ace beauty little gold shadow it's so pretty look at, that. look at that i just want more gold I think I'm gonna go in with this Eco Soul. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a little cream eyeshadow, but it's really shimmery and pretty. That's what I'm talking about. Stuff is so pretty. Okay, we got some crazy birds going on out there. I don't know when we stopped filming, but it did. So I'm gonna do some eyeliner.
Why do I feel like eyeliner? I can't, like I can't breathe. So now I'm doing some magnetic liner and lashes. And this is the Moxie Lash lashes. I'll let that dry. While I do that, I'm gonna put on some Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. Then I'm going in with some gloss in the center. Then number 60 in the center. Then another layer of the magnetic liner. So that was the Moxie Lash Liner, but I'm gonna use the Lash Liner Lashes. And these should just go on nice and easy. As long as you let the liner dry enough. Oh, I love them. Okay, now that the lashes are on, I'm gonna do a little inner corner highlight using my Pure After Glow. I'm also gonna add a little bit of this to my cheeks. For fun. Because why not be extra glowy? Then let's do some setting spray using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So good. Then I'm going to go in with some Anastasia Brow Gel. This one's tinted, so it helps to make sure like the brows don't look powdery and weird then taking some mascara this is the a cosmetic superhero mascara all right this look is done i think so um yeah i basically just wanted to start a youtube channel because i love makeup I wanted to share that love of makeup with you guys. I want you guys to believe in yourself and love yourself for who you are and just know that God created you who you are for a reason. Like God purposely created you to be you and there's nobody else like you. You're beautiful with or without makeup and I just hope you guys all know that. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. That's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Also, let me know in the comments if you like this kind of video, if you want me to do more just kind of talking videos where I just do my makeup and just talk to you guys about random things because I'll definitely pick a more specific topic next time. This was just kind of like all over the place. I hope you enjoyed it anyways. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I do three videos a week and I would love to have you a little part of my beauty YouTube fam. I will see you in the next one. Bye.